Hey, what's up everyone? I'm going to show you the Paramix Fade Editor today. Let's take a look. All right, I've got a multi-track here with five tracks, a number of edits, a number of fades, and each fade is unique because I can just zone in to what I want with the Paramix Fade Editor and completely customize each fade to my liking. Um, so, uh, as you can see in the bottom of my screen, I have the Fade Editor in the Editor tab. Um, and you can change that around to wherever way you like. This is just the default tab. Um, I'll show you how to modify that in a little bit, but I just want to get into it and give you a quick and easy tutorial on how to start using the fade editor, even though it might seem a little daunting with all of its options. So what you want to do is start off with your fades by creating them with your clips. So you just grab that little top button at the end of the region in the top right hand side and you can start to bring that fade in or out. Now once you've created it, you can easily edit it with the fade editor. Now, of course, you saw that it was showing me exactly what to do here um, in the fade editor. So I can you know, basically create any type of envelope for the fade that I want with these two sliders. Really helpful amount of control there. Once I like it, I can audition it. I can check it out in context. That's really not a great example, but we can check this one out and we can click on the fade. Remember now, if you click on the region, it shows you the, big, the whole region, but if you click on the fade, you get that graphical representation there and you can now modify the fade. So let's take a listen to that. Let's just undo that and see what we have. Cool, so these actually are really helpful to hear what's going on. So let's say I want to audition out after the fade. Or I want to audition out without the curve with the reference. These are really helpful, quick ways to reference the audio. You may not need that, but it's a cool thing to work with. So I just want to hear the audition out with the curve. Pretty cool. Now I want to hear in context. So the faces on the wall. So maybe it was a little too lengthy there. I'm gonna maybe bring it down. Let's go ahead and hit the accept change button, the thumbs up button. So the faces on the wall. So that was definitely too quick, right? I like it a little bit longer. So I'm gonna bring it up again. Hit the fade editor and let's check out what we got. So the face is on the wall. Pretty nice. So if I want, I can blow that up bigger by double clicking on it. And then I get the fade editor as a window itself. So that could be put on any one of your screens. Obviously, this is a much expanded, much more expanded viewpoint. So if you need that fine uh, granular viewpoint to make your fade very cool you can do it here so you have total control over how you audition what kind of fade you do where it is you can move the fade as you need to and you always have that overlaying and underlaying overview of the waveform to help you out you can do a cross fade you can uh, show the faders and control, which are sliders and decimal um, representations of these controls. So it really depends on how you like to use this. Um, the overall parameters and options are pretty deep, so I'm not going to get into that now. But what I am going to show you, like I said earlier, is how to pick, take this fade editor and put it back on your dock. So let's go ahead and grab it, and you can see that these um, sl uh, blue arrows come up and it lets me know that I can put the fade editor wherever I want to the left to the right down below or back in the editor tab and that's in the center there so I'm gonna go ahead and slam that back there because I have one screen it's really much easier to see the fades with one screen with the fade editor so like I said you just click on your region to see your fade and you want to click more on the region 
fade out because you're only going to get the beginning part of the region in the fade editor if you do that. So that's the way I've been using it, and this is a really cool way to work. So I hope that helps out, and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. If you have any comments, questions, make sure to put it in the comments below. Subscribe and share. Have a good one.